Hello and welcome to the Live as Lions coaching podcast. This is a podcast, however, we also throw the video up on YouTube if you prefer that. If you love listening to this while you're cooking or on your way to work or in between classes, welcome and thanks for listening in. In this podcast, we are looking at the topic of how to live life more wild and free. And since I'm a certified life coach, we decided to have a section in this podcast looking at this topic from a coaching perspective. And I thought before we go on that adventure together, uh, it would be a good idea to introduce myself a little bit more. Who am I? What am I doing? What is coaching? And what is Live as Lions coaching all about? As mentioned, my name is Uli, Ulrich Manchin. And as my name might give it away, I'm born and raised in good old Germany. However, I'm married to a wonderful wife from the US and I have the privilege to call myself the Mighty Baba to my Chinese daughter. I know Uli is not a very common name in the English language and trust me, I have my fair share of alter egos at Starbucks, which brings me into quite awkward situations when I do not respond when they call out my drink and eventually end up with cold coffee. But there is a way um, that helps to pronounce my name or rem remember my name and it's uh, just taking the chorus from the De La Soul song Ooh La combi and combine it with the martial arts fighter Bruce Lee. So you take the Ooh, 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 Ooh and you take Bruce's last name and you're pretty close to my to my uh, name. You can sing it if you want to. That would be fun if you give me a call and, and that's how you say Hey, Ooh, 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 Lee, what's up? One of them is enough though. Um, what did I do before I was a life coach? I worked with NGOs in the humanitarian sector and it was my job to be a project manager and team leader in order to come up. Uh, back then I worked with artists and creatives and it was our job to come up with innovative strategies to fundraise for projects in developing countries. And it was during that time that I realized I really enjoy and love investing in people and looking at their talents and skills and to see them grow and develop in order to achieve their desired goals. And that's when I decided I, I want to, that's what I want to do. And that's what I'm passionate about. And I want to get more training in that direction. And that's when my journey started to become a certified life coach. Um, I'm saying certified um, because, you know, with coaching, it's it's a little bit like the same as with photography. Back in the days, um, you had to go, at least in Germany, you had to go through a three-year training and then you got a certificate saying, hey, this I'm a certified photographer. I'm allowed to offer my photography service, services. And without that, you weren't allowed to make money as a photographer. Now that doesn't exist anymore and everyone can call himself or herself a photographer. And uh, what's important now, you need to look at the, at the portfolio. Do I like your style? Do I like your photography? Do I trust what you can do? And it's the same with coaching. Um, you can call yourself a coach without any training. However, um, I went through a very elaborate training, and that's why I'm a coach ESC, which is the European Association for Supervision and Counseling. And it was important to me that I go through this in order to get out a high quality of training for my clients. And it's important with coaches to look at, okay, what, what is your qualification? What is your certification? Uh, in order for the client to know, am I in good hands here? Is this person uh, experienced? And does he or she know what, what they're talking about? You know, So that's why I always say, well, I'm a certified life coach. But uh, in general, if we, if we look at the whole coaching industry, it's it's a vast in an industry. It's a upcoming industry. It's booming. It's flourishing, and there are all kinds of coaches out there. There are dog coaches. There are uh, fitness coaches, sports coaches, uh, business coaches, executive coaches, life coaches, mental health coaches. Um, there, there's a, a, a very large. Uh, industry and and uh, it seems like there's a coach for every area of life and so I would say I am more in the category of a life coach although it's it's hard for me to fathom what is a life coach because the, the term life or the word life is so vague and because it's also so broad like life is this huge 
chapter, this huge um, thing. What what is a life coach? And so I will talk also a little bit about the topics that I'm uh, working on with my clients to to paint a picture for you what what is coaching and what kind of coaching am i doing and therefore what kind of coaching is live as lions coaching and what kind of methods and what kind of tools i'm working with that help my clients to live their life more wild and free all right i have here a little cheat sheet and um, i will use this in order to make sure i don't forget anything so uh, before i go further into coaching I thought it would be good to um, also answer the question, what is the difference between therapy, counseling, and coaching? It's a common question that I'm getting asked, and I thought it's worth it to take some time to tap into that. Um, Let's see. The difference between counseling and therapy and coaching in my opinion, is that counseling and therapy focus more on a healing process, while coaching focuses more on a goal-oriented process. Um, But the main difference, in my opinion, is uh, that a coach can work with, with available resources. So as a coach, I, I serve as an escort to help my client to gain ownership over available resources in order to achieve the desired goal. And I use methods and and tools in order to tap into these resources. These resources are there and the client might be aware of it but doesn't know how to use them. Or the client might not be aware of it and then through different techniques uh, I can help the client to tap into them and and just grow and develop uh, in their potential. Um, if there are no resources available to the client, a coach is not able to help the client to reach the desired goal. A therapist and a counselor would be the right approach in that scenario. So, for example, let's say... Um, A client is struggling with chronic depression. The client is not able to leave the depressions and just be done with it, right? If if the client would be able to do this, then he would have done that by now. And there are no resources that can be used by the client in, in order to just get healthy. So it needs a therapist who can come into the process and can bring in outside resources in order to start a healing process and slowly but surely deal with the depressions. So I hope that makes a little bit, makes it a little bit more clear. Um, And again, that's my definition. I'm sure there are many more out there or many uh, more that give even a better picture what the difference between counseling therapy and coaching is. I also uh, would say that generally coaching is focusing more on the present and the future while therapy and counseling focus more on the past and the present. Um, Also a coaching process is relatively short in comparison with therapy. A therapy process can go on uh, over uh, several years and a coaching process it goes on for five, six, seven months. And um, yeah, I, I think the easiest definition I've ever heard what coaching is, is, uh, well, a coach just helps to get from point A to point B, right? And um, um, I also always like, you know, to to use the picture of the Lord of the Rings when you have Samwise, Gamgee, and Frodo. So Frodo wants to get to the mountain, and Frodo needs to carry the dang ring, but there's Sam who helps him along the way to make sure he gets there, right? And uh, so that's how I... I like this picture because that's how a coach operates. A coach is an escort. It, a coach walks alongside the coachy to the desired goal. And it's not through giving advice or through giving a consultation because what might have worked for me might not have might not work for you yeah my solution to a problem 
might not be yours. So it's important to have an individual approach and to listen deeply and to analyze the situation and to figure out a, a individual um, toolbox with different tools and, and uh, methods to serve the client to their answer or to their goal. And um, yeah, that I do that through asking questions and, and drawing out the, the resources that are there. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm I'm your Sam. I can I could be your Samwise Gamgee. Um, let's see what else is on my little cheat sheet here. Um, so yes, a coach is not a therapist. However, um, a coach does make use of. Um, let's see. I have it here, which I think is very, a very nice way to uh, explain it. Um, a coach makes use of principle and practices from evidence-based therapies. For example, Gestalt therapy or cognitive behavioral therapy, um, acceptance and commitment therapy and dialectical behavior therapy. Also things like personality development, like the Enneagram or uh, also what I love, for example, the, the transactional analysis. So these are all um, areas where a coach can use methods from in order to help the client. And um, what kind of, what kind of, here's some examples, what kind of topics my clients have. Um, for example, stress and anxiety management, you know, being stressed out, being just, on the edge, no matter if it's in personal life or in, in your career, but it's just, yeah, uh, how to deal with stress. Um, improving relationship skills, you know, um, how, yeah, there's tension at the job. Maybe, maybe a client comes and says, my goodness gracious, I just can't get along with my new boss. Or the boss comes and says, Oh man, I need a break. Like my staff drives me nuts. I, there's this one guy and I just can't deal with him. It's just, he just needs to start talking and, and and the day is over for me. For example, right? Could be. Maybe. But I'm sure we all have good bosses, right? <laughs> uh, healthy work-life balance. You know, how, how can that look like? How do I get that? Um... I mentioned I used to work a lot with artists and creatives. So a common a common uh, topic was procrastination. You know, oh, I can't meet the deadline or I feel like I'm stuck. Um, another thing also would be ch the, uh, the negative thinking patterns. Oh, I, I'm not good enough or I, I can't cut it. The competition is too good. I will never be noticed. I, I will never make it. You know, these kind of things. Um, also, leadership development skills, um, decision-making processes. That's, that's also a big one. Like, how do you make good decisions? How do you make the right decisions? How, uh, how can you also be, uh, yeah, how can you use a coach in a decision-making process in order to walk not alone through this process? Um, again, here comes Samwise, right? Um, motivation um, to stay focused, to reach the goal, to, to stick with the motivation, to not forget about it. Um, then personality development. Who am I? Why am I doing things the way I do them? Uh, and very important, self-care. Yeah, especially in times like these, self-care. What does it mean to practice self-care? Yeah. Um, in the end... The biggest intervention in a client's life or in a coach's life, I believe the biggest intervention is the coach. And um, yeah, so this is a little bit of picture of, I hope, I hope this paints a picture for you, what coaching is, what a coach does, what a coach can do, um, what the focus of coaching is and when it comes to live as lions coaching it's it's about you know how to live life wild and free what does it mean to you to live life wild and free yeah um and this podcast will we will talk a little bit more about the stories that we were able to write through our lives 
and uh, the, 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 the things that happened in our life that also challenged us over and over to make decisions. How do we want to live life? How do we want to tackle this obstacle? How do we want to deal with this problem? And how, what does it mean for us in this scenario to be free, to uh, live life wild and free it does not mean to dodge responsibility or to always just go crazy and party or to just uh, be completely independent but you know it depends how do you answer that you know what what is it to you to live life more wild and free so there will be more episodes and we will go into further and deeper waters uh, of coaching and um, different approaches to live life wild and free from a coaching perspective. And I would love if you tune in and be part of that journey. And um, I, I see you next time or I'll you will hear me next time. And I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for tuning in and I see you, hear you. Bye-bye.